Wait, before you pop that supplement combo into your mouth, I need you to stop for just a second. Because if you're taking magnesium glycinate, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2 together without knowing what I'm about to tell you, you could actually be doing more harm than good. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this could completely change how your body absorbs and uses these nutrients. So stay with me for the next few minutes, because by the end of this video, you'll not only know the safest and most effective way to take these supplements, but you'll also understand exactly why so many people are getting it wrong. Timing truly makes the difference when it comes to supplements, especially with magnesium glycinate, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2. Most people believe that simply taking them all together guarantees faster or better results, but the reality is much more nuanced. The body doesn't process every nutrient the same way, and understanding when to take them can completely change how effectively they work. When you consume these three supplements at the same time, they can interfere with one another's absorption. Vitamin D3 and K2 are fat soluble, which means your body needs dietary fat to absorb them properly. Taking them without food or with a meal that lacks fat drastically reduces how much your body can actually use. On the other hand, magnesium glycinate is water soluble, meaning it doesn't depend on fat for absorption. It enters your system through a different pathway and is best taken separately so it doesn't compete for digestive resources with fat soluble vitamins. When all three hit your digestive system at once, your stomach and intestines have to handle two very different absorption processes simultaneously. Your body then splits its focus, part of it working to emulsify and digest fats for the D3 and K2, while the rest processes magnesium in the watery environment of your intestines. As a result, none of them are absorbed optimally, and you end up wasting potential benefits. That's why so many people take their supplements faithfully yet see little improvement in their energy, mood, or bone health. They're not giving each nutrient the best environment to work in. By spacing them out properly, you allow your body to process each one at its own pace and in the most effective way. The best approach is to take vitamin D3 and K2 together during your biggest meal of the day, ideally one that includes healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, eggs, or salmon. That meal not only helps them dissolve and absorb, but also provides the nutrients and enzymes that support their function in your body. Magnesium glycinate, however, should come later, preferably in the evening or before bed. Magnesium's natural calming properties support relaxation, muscle recovery, and better sleep, while also avoiding any interference with fat-soluble vitamin absorption. This separation gives your digestive system time to reset and handle each supplement efficiently. Timing also ties closely to how your body's natural rhythm works. During the day, when you're more active and exposed to light, vitamin D3 plays its role in supporting energy, hormone balance, and calcium regulation. At night, when your body is winding down and shifting into repair mode, magnesium enhances that process by relaxing muscles, lowering stress hormones, and improving sleep quality. By sensing your supplements with your body's circadian rhythm, you create harmony instead of confusion. It's a small adjustment that makes a major difference in how these nutrients perform when you take them with intention, matching the right nutrient to the right time. You not only boost absorption, but also experience their full synergistic effects without any digestive discomfort or wasted potential magnesium is one of those nutrients that quietly runs hundreds of processes in the body without drawing much attention. Yet it holds the key to how effectively vitamin D actually works. Most people are surprised to learn that taking vitamin D3 alone doesn't guarantee it will become active in the body. When you swallow a vitamin D supplement, it enters in an inactive form called chalcalciferol. For it to be useful, it must be converted first in the liver to calcidiol and then in the kidneys to calcitriol, the active form that actually influences calcium absorption, immune function, and hormone balance. Both of those conversion steps depend on enzymes that require magnesium as a cofactor. Without enough magnesium, those enzymes can't function efficiently meaning that much of your vitamin D3 supplement never becomes active. You could be taking thousands of IUs every day, but if you're low in magnesium, your body is unable to complete the conversion, leaving your blood levels stagnant despite consistent supplementation. 
This is why many people experience what's called vitamin D resistance, where they take high doses for months and their blood test still shows low levels. It's not that their body doesn't need vitamin D. It's that their magnesium stores are too depleted to activate it. Magnesium essentially turns the key that starts the vitamin D engine. It helps regulate how vitamin D binds to its carrier proteins, how it's transported, and how it interacts with receptors in your cells. Without enough magnesium, those processes stall, and the vitamin D can't do its job no matter how much you take. The body naturally prioritizes magnesium for vital tasks like muscle contraction, heartbeat regulation, and nerve signaling. So if you're chronically stressed, exercising heavily, or consuming caffeine and processed foods, which all deplete magnesium, your vitamin D metabolism is one of the first systems to suffer. It's also worth noting that when you start taking vitamin D, it increases calcium absorption from your diet. That's good for your bones, but it also means your magnesium requirements rise because magnesium is needed to balance calcium levels and prevent excessive buildup. If you boost vitamin D without, without increasing magnesium, your calcium levels can go up while magnesium drops even further, creating muscle cramps, irritability, sleep issues, or heart palpitations. This is one of the main reasons people report side effects from vitamin D supplementation. It's not the vitamin itself causing the problem, it's the underlying magnesium deficiency becoming more pronounced. When magnesium levels are adequate, everything works in sync. Vitamin D activates smoothly, calcium stays balanced, and your energy and mood improve naturally. You sleep better, recover faster, and your immune system becomes more resilient. That's the hidden power of, of magnesium. It doesn't just work alongside vitamin D. It actually determines whether your body can use it effectively at all. This is why pairing them wisely and ensuring your magnesium stores are replenished can transform how your vitamin D performs and how you feel overall vitamin K2 plays a crucial yet often underestimated role in maintaining the body's calcium balance. Many people assume that vitamin D3 alone is the solution for stronger bones, better immunity, and improved mood. But what they don't realize is that vitamin D's job is only half the story. When you take vitamin D3, it increases the absorption of calcium from your gut into your bloodstream. That sounds beneficial, but here's the problem. Vitamin D doesn't control where that calcium goes next. Without the guidance of vitamin K2, that extra calcium can end up settling in the wrong places, such as your arteries, joints, or kidneys, instead of being deposited into your bones and teeth where it's actually needed. Over time, that misplaced calcium can contribute to stiffness, poor circulation, or even arterial calcification, which is the hardening of blood vessels due to calcium buildup. Vitamin K2 works like a traffic director, ensuring that calcium is sent to the right destinations. It activates two vital proteins in your body, osteocalcin and matrix GLA protein. Osteocalcin binds calcium to your bone matrix, strengthening and mineralizing your skeletal structure. Matrix GLA protein, on the other hand, prevents calcium from accumulating in soft tissues like arteries and organs. Without vitamin K2, these proteins remain inactive, meaning calcium circulates aimlessly in your bloodstream, increasing the risk of buildup in places that can harm your long-term health. This is why simply taking vitamin D3 without K2 is incomplete and in some cases counterproductive. You might raise your calcium absorption but not your bone density, creating an internal imbalance that could cause more harm than good over time. Another key aspect is how K2 works synergistically with D3. When D3 increases calcium levels, K2 ensures that calcium is efficiently utilized, creating a perfect partnership between absorption and utilization. Think of vitamin D3 as the supplier bringing calcium into your system and K2 as the skilled manager who assigns it to the right job sites. When both are present in the correct amounts, you get stronger bones, better dental health, and more flexible arteries. Without K2, however, that system becomes uncoordinated, leading to inefficiencies and potential complications. What makes this even more important is that most diets today are low in vitamin K2. It's primarily found in fermented foods like natto, certain aged cheeses, and grass-fed animal products, foods that many people rarely eat. As a result, even those who get enough vitamin D through supplements or sunlight may still struggle with poor calcium regulation simply because their K2 intake is too low. 
Supplementing K2 alongside D3 fills that nutritional gap and helps maintain harmony between bone strength and cardiovascular safety. The subtle but powerful role of K2 uh, often goes unnoticed until problems arise. People might experience uh, joint discomfort, muscle stiffness, or declining bone density without realizing that unbalanced calcium distribution is at the root of it. Ensuring adequate vitamin K2 intake transforms how vitamin D3 works in your body. Turning calcium from a potential risk factor into a true ally for health and longevity. When you take multiple supplements together without considering how they interact, you risk creating competition rather than cooperation inside your body. This is exactly what happens when magnesium glycinate, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2 are all consumed at the same time. Each of these nutrients uses different pathways for absorption, and when they overlap, the digestive system becomes overwhelmed. Vitamin D3 and K2 are both fat-soluble, which means they require dietary fat and bile from the liver to be absorbed efficiently. Magnesium glycinate, on the other hand, is water-soluble and doesn't need fat to enter your bloodstream. When these two processes occur simultaneously, fat-based absorption and water-based absorption, the body's ability to process them properly is reduced. Instead of each nutrient being absorbed optimally, they compete for space and energy within your digestive tract, resulting in less overall absorption and wasted potential. It's easy to assume that combining them is convenient or even beneficial since they are all essential nutrients but the reality is that your digestive system can only handle so much at once. When the gut is busy emulsifying fats to absorb D3 and K2, magnesium's water-based pathway takes a backseat. As a result, much of the magnesium may pass through your system unused, which is why some people feel no noticeable benefits even after supplementing regularly. Similarly, if magnesium temporarily relaxes your digestive muscles, which it often does, it can slow down the movement of fat, soluble vitamins, and further reduce their efficiency. This is one of the main reasons why people report mild stomach upset, bloating, or nausea when taking all three supplements together. It's not that the nutrients are bad for you. It's that your body is struggling to handle conflicting absorption processes at once. Separating them into different times of the day helps each nutrient shine in its own role. Taking vitamin D3 and K2 together during a meal with healthy fats ensures that both are absorbed efficiently and directed where they need to go. Then taking magnesium glycinate later in the day, preferably a few hours after your last meal or before bed, gives your digestive system a break and allows magnesium to be absorbed quietly and efficiently without interference. This approach also works with your body's natural rhythm. D3 and K2 support energy, calcium metabolism, and bone activity during the day, while magnesium helps calm your muscles and nervous system at night. When absorption pathways aren't competing, each nutrient performs its job more effectively. Calcium gets properly regulated, vitamin D becomes fully activated, K2 directs it into bones and teeth, and magnesium supports muscle recovery and relaxation. This smooth coordination leads to stronger bones, healthier arteries, better sleep, and overall improved vitality. It's not just about what you take, but how you take it that determines whether your supplements work together or work against each other. Giving your body the time and space to absorb each nutrient individually transforms the outcome from average to optimal. True health doesn't come from swallowing a handful of supplements at once. It comes from balance. Understanding how each nutrient interacts and creating a routine that works with your body instead of against it. Many people think that taking more means getting faster or stronger results, but when it comes to nutrients like magnesium glycinate, vitamin D3 and K2, quality, timing, and synergy matter far more than quantity. The human body isn't a storage tank that holds on to excess vitamins and minerals waiting to be used. It's a living system that constantly adjusts, absorbs, and eliminates depending on need, diet, activity level, and even stress. When one nutrient is out of proportion to the others, it can throw off the delicate internal chemistry that keeps everything running smoothly. For instance, too much vitamin D3 without enough magnesium and K2 can cause calcium buildup in soft tissues instead of bones. Excess calcium without enough magnesium can stiffen muscles and increase fatigue. On the other hand, too much magnesium at once can upset digestion or reduce the absorption of other minerals like zinc. The body thrives on balance, not extremes, 
and finding that balance comes from consistency rather than high doses. The real magic happens when each nutrient complements the others in the right amounts and at the right times. This is where daily habits and overall lifestyle play a much bigger role than most people realize. A balanced supplement schedule means pairing your D3 and K2 with a nutrient-rich meal, giving them the fat they need to be absorbed, and saving magnesium for the evening when it helps calm your nervous system and promote restful sleep. It means eating foods that naturally support these nutrients, leafy greens, seeds, and dark chocolate for magnesium, fatty fish and eggs for vitamin D, and fermented foods for K2. When your diet and supplementation work together, your body doesn't struggle to compensate. It performs efficiently, turning every nutrient into energy, strength, and recovery. Balance also extends beyond food and supplements. Hydration, sleep, and stress management all influence how these nutrients work in your system. Dehydration and chronic stress deplete magnesium quickly, which in turn affects vitamin D metabolism. Poor sleep disrupts hormone balance, reducing how well your body utilizes vitamins and minerals. Taking supplements can't override those deeper imbalances. They can only amplify the results of a healthy foundation. So instead of chasing quick fixes or massive doses, the goal should be building a sustainable routine that supports your body's natural rhythm every day. When you approach your health with this mindset, you stop treating supplements like isolated pills and start seeing them as part of a complete system. The difference is subtle at first. You feel a bit more energy, sleep a little deeper, recover a little faster. But over time, those small improvements compound. That's how balance works quietly and powerfully, turning consistency into transformation without forcing your body to adapt unnaturally